Sundays at home. How great is it that we can start meeting together in person and not just online? Last Sunday was our first uh, meeting as a church, face to face. It was a really different service from our normal services, obviously because of the COVID restrictions. Um, and it's probably going to be different for a while because of the COVID restrictions, but it was such a blessing to be able to meet together, to pray together, to sing together, to chat together. And how great is it that we can gather together, whether we're down at the church or watching our screens, we can gather together before the throne of the God of the universe. We know he hears us. We know he sees us. We know he knows each of us intimately and that he hears the cries of our hearts. One of the things that's been hitting home to me lately is the fact that God has a meaning and a purpose for our lives, a purpose for my life, a purpose for your life. God's not here to make us feel good. He's not here to help us when we're struggling, although sometimes he does do that. That's not what he's here for. He's not here for our purposes. We're here for his purpose. In John 6, Jesus is talking to a crowd of people. He's just done a loaves and fishes miracle. He's fed 5,000 people with um, five small barley loaves and two little fish out of some kid's lunchbox. So the crowd thinks he's great. They've seen a miracle, they've had a free feed and they've gone to find him. And in John 6 from verse 25, it says, When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you're looking for me not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And they asked him, what must we do to do the work God requires? And Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. And so they asked him, what sign will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. But Jesus said, very truly I tell you, it's not Moses who gives you the bread from heaven, but it's my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. And Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Would you pray with me? Blessed Lord, you are the author of all grace and comfort. We ask that you would work repentance in each of us. Show us our sin, Lord, and lead us to the salvation that's only found in the blood of Jesus. Teach us to behold our Creator, his ability to save, his arms outstretched, his heart big for us. Help us to not only receive him, but to walk in him, depend on him, desire him, be conformed to him and follow him. Lord, grow our faith in you and help us to find our joy, our purpose and our worth in you, our only true God. Amen.